Nokia is about to surprise everyone with the world's first under-display camera smartphone. I am Keno and this is Anchor Tech. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future video. For the past three years, companies have been trying to maximize screen real estate and we've gotten a bunch of solutions with each its own compromise. The notch and punch hole technology both interfere with the screen experience, while the pop-up mechanism is a moving part, which can affect durability and water resistance. So the perfect solution is to put the selfie camera under the display and we all thought Samsung was going to be the first company to do that until last year when Xiaomi and Vivo showed a prototype device with the under display camera technology. That moved our attention from Samsung to Xiaomi and Vivo. But now, Nokia has stolen the spotlight. Rumor had it that Nokia was contemplating between the pop-up camera and the under-display camera technology for its Nokia 9.3 Pureview, and they scrapped the pop-up camera in favor of the latter. The Nokia 9.3 Pureview is the successor to last year's Nokia 9 Pureview, and it's expected to arrive sometime this year with the world's first under-display camera technology. And that's because Samsung and other companies that are working on the tech have their eyes set on 2021. So if Nokia actually pulls this off, they're going to be the world's first. Also, they're trying to use a bigger sensor for the selfie camera. Rumored to be a 48 megapixel sensor, and the reason for this is to let more light in, since the sensor will be under the display. And that's the biggest problem with the under display camera technology, because the amount of light that goes into the sensor is being reduced by the display. So increasing the sensor size to let more light in should in theory resolve the issue. We're gonna have to wait and see if that actually works, or if they used some other technology or software to resolve the issue. The 9.3 is also a main flagship, so it's gonna be powered by the Snapdragon 865, so we can expect 5G on board. It's also gonna have a 120Hz display and a 64 megapixel main camera with a 108 megapixel ultra wide with a telephoto lens and a depth sensor. Rumor has it that Nokia isn't gonna be using lights camera sensors anymore because apparently their software wasn't very compatible with the hardware. So they're gonna be working with another company called Finch. Anyway, let me know what you think about Nokia in the comment section below. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video and definitely subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one.